Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you my antenna tracker for FPV. This is the Brechtenberg tracker, which is our SSI base. These two are directional antennas for picking up the, the signal coming from the left and coming from the right. And then the signals will go to the two RC305 or boss cam receivers as they call it now. This one receiver here and one receiver here. So these are the boss cam 5.8 gigahertz AB receivers. And then the RSSI, the signal strength from the receivers will come out from pin 6 of the module inside. Inside there's a, a receiver module with a lot of with lots of pins and from pin number six I tap a wire out from this receiver and I tap a wire out from the other receiver and these two will go into the tracker board RSSI 1 RSSI 2 and then there is a wire that controls the direction of the servo this wire goes to the middle leg of the potential meter inside the analog servo. So basically when you open the analog servo, there is a potential meter which you will cut off. And once you cut off, there are three remaining legs there. And this goes to the middle leg of the three legs. And this controls the direction of the servo and commands it to turn left and turn right. And what are these leads for? These leads are for powering the receivers. Receiver on the right, receiver on the left. Those two for picking up the signals and comparing the signals. And this one for the receiver in the middle, which is the receiver that you use to view the FPV video. Now if you have noticed, I have this um, structure over here which is the support for two wires so what does this do basically this uh, these two wires carry the video signal from the um, receiver in the middle it carries the video signal and it has an output over here so I can plug my video monitor or video goggles over here and as the tracker turns around it does not create a mass of wires a spiral of wires over here this is like a stepper ring in the CCTV basically this is not a step ring this is a cheap um, non-twist telephone adapter I think this is about two dollars and allows the telephone cord to go round and round without twisting so I use it over here the AV or the video signal goes in through here and then I have the telephone port here on top and then I put it in the middle at the pivot point so your turntable can go round and round and there's no interruption to the video signal it travels along here all the way down to this plug here Okay, now I'm going to show you how to trim the tracker board. There are two ports over here for trimming the center position of the RSI tracker. So what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to mess up the settings I have over here which I've already trimmed and calibrated. What I'm going to do is, I will hook up this board to the two receivers on the turntable. And then I will also hook up a $3 servo to the board, to this board and then I'll go ahead and adjust the the potential meter, these two potential meters until I get it to work the first step I'm going to do is to connect the power source ok so this will ensure that the, the three receivers share the same power with this tracker board that, that I'm setting up 
So this is the power source. And then we're going to connect the battery. Three cell LiPo pack. Let's put it here. Okay. Then the RSSI wires. There's two RSSI wires. I'm going to connect them to the RSSI of receiver 1 and receiver 2. I have a special connector port which I set up here, over here so that I could just connect them easily. Okay, so RSSI 1 is connected now to that receiver. RSSI 2, I'm trying to connect it. Okay, and this is connected to the red wire to this receiver. And then finally, the servo. This is a test servo. Just plug in to the servo plug and take note of the polarity. And lastly, the directional control wire, the wire that controls direction. I'm going to just tape it like this. I use a click now instead of using the tape. With everything connected, I'm going to turn on the power source. Power on, and the 3 cell LiPo juice will be fed to the two receivers. I think you can see the red light. And then I'm going to turn on the board at which we are testing. Turn it on. It's working. The servo is turning in one direction and that's normal because the transmission source is over there. Nearer to the right receiver. Now I'm going to try to make it switch direction by adjusting the port. I'm going to leave this port at 50%, not touching this one. I'm going to trim this one. Max out the potential meter so that it turns continuously. So it's still turning clockwise. Okay, there's no response. I'm going to put that transmission source over to the other side. This side. Okay, notice the servo has changed direction. Now it's turning anti-clockwise. Move this back to the right side. Yeah, there you go, it's working. I just have to fine-tune a bit, adjust this part until I find a sweet spot where when I move this past the center line, move the transmitter past the center line, the servo switch direction. If I move it to the left past the center line, the servo will switch direction. So basically, I just have to fine tune this until I find that sweet spot, and the tracker board is configured for antenna tracking.